Hello and welcome to highlights of stage three of the Women's Tour for 2022. 107.9 kilometers awaited the riders, starting in Tewkesbury and finishing after 107.9 hilly kilometers later in Gloucester. Two category two, Queen of the Mountains and two intermediate sprints along the route. Clara Capone in the yellow jersey for FDJ Nouvelle Aquitaine for Turoscope. She took a three second advantage over Micah Vander down into the stage with a stage two winner. Lorena Weavis third at four seconds. The general classification though was expected to be turned on its head in the first of three hilly days in the women's tour. After losing time due to a crash on stage two, Rihanna Marcus went on the attack and being four minutes and 28 seconds down in 90 second overall, she was a perfect rider to try and get clear and make a breakaway stick. They would head towards the first Queen of the Mountains of the day at Warhol Hill, a 1.4 kilometer climb, averaging 6.4% and maxing out at 11.3. Team SD Works rider Marlon Royster was working hard for Skoda Queen of the Mountains leader Christine Majerus and their general classification rider Ashley Mormon Passio. Marcus went over the top, took six points, while the first and second place riders overall in the Queen of the Mountains, Christine Majerus in the green Skoda Queen of the Mountains jersey, and Lacole Wahoos, Gladys for Hulse, chased hard and would get up to Rihanna Marcus before they hit the second Queen of the Mountains of the day. Speech House, a 1.3 kilometer climb, averaging 7.1 and maxing out at just under 15%. The steepness of the slopes took their toll and Verhulst was dropped from the breakaway group. A thinning peloton behind, Michaela Harvey of Canyon Shram was the next rider to try her hand on the attack. While the pace was starting to splinter riders off the back of the group, they would have to use the descents to try and get back in. A select leading group, though, did manage to get clear, but the lack of cohesion, perhaps due to having so many big names in the front group, would mean that the group would come back. Kristen Faulkner of the USA and Team Bike Exchange tried multiple times to try and get the group clear, but it swelled in numbers as they headed towards the finale. And one rider in particular who had made it back in was Lorena Webus of Team DSM. Alex Manley of Bike Exchange, Jayco third from the front, was another rider that's on great form. Cassia Nubia Doma of Canyon Shram was looking to try and set things up for young Belgian star Shari Bossut, who was sitting fourth in line as they headed towards the final corners. It was British champion Pfeiffer Georgie, though, using local knowledge to perfection with Lorena Webus right on the wheel. Webus gave one glance to the left as Manley started to make a move and for the second day in a row showed a clean pair of wheels to the rest of the riders coming home for a second stage victory of this year's race. She took two stages and the points jersey in 2021 here on stage three. She's already made it to and the bonus seconds would also give her the yellow jersey. Another day and another race victory for Lorena Webus. What form she has at the moment. Look at that power. It was Webus from Manly with Corin Lebecki making it up there in third place. So Webus takes a 13 second advantage over Sophia Bertid Zolo and Alex Manley into stage four and with it that yellow jersey. But we now head towards the two toughest stages, Wrexham to Welshpool and then Pembury Country Park to the Black Mountain on the penultimate day and then a sprint stage into Oxford on the final day.